These are not simply masks to make your hair soft and prevent split ends. These are complex solutions to grow your hair faster. Hello everyone, I'm Zurnica and this is Blissfully Random, a channel where we talk about everything practical and useful and today I have my proven ways to get your hair to grow faster. Some of them I learned many years ago from my hairdresser's training and others more recently when I got really bad haircut and I wanted to grow my hair fast so it could look decent. Deep cleanse your hair and scalp. Let's start from the root. To give proper conditions to the hair follicle to grow, it should not be suffocated by oils, dirt and product buildup. At least once a month, deep cleanse your hair and scalp. It can be done with a sulfate shampoo or with a scrub of baking soda, always followed by an apple cider vinegar rinse. Baking soda is alkaline. It will open the hair shaft, dissolve the dirt to be rinsed out and the vinegar is acidic. To close the shaft, and make the hair look shiny. Stimulate the scalp. Increase blood circulation in your scalp with a massage. You can do it with your fingertips or with a suitable scalp massager on dry hair before washing or on wet hair in the shower. Castor oil is proven to stimulate hair growth and it is advisable to dilute it and to make it easier to work with, not so thick and not so harsh to the scalp. It can be drying at times. You can combine it with essential oils that we will talk about in a minute. A natural remedy or a natural recipe is a burdock extract or burdock oil that you will put on your scalp and massage as you would do with any of the treatments mentioned here. Another very simple yet effective treatment is also spraying rose water or quinine water on your scalp and massaging the roots. Several essential oils are proven against hair loss and for hair growth stimulation, most notably the rosemary essential oil. When using essential oils, always dilute them enough. Start slowly with a lower concentration, that means more diluted, and see if you can tolerate it. Also have a patch test on the inner side of your arm or in the elbow crease. I have previously made a video about a homemade serum for hair growth. It is rather an oil infusion of chili pepper that will increase the blood circulation, the blood flow and thus speed up the hair growth. If you are interested, a link will be in the description box below. A boost from within. Have a balanced diet. The rate or speed of hair growth is from 8 to 15 millimeters a month that is up to 1.5 centimeters but it can get slower in case of a poor diet. You can become malnourished or undernourished because you have too little calories daily or your food is not nutrient dense. In that case, the goal of your body is to keep you alive, focusing energy and nutrients on the vital functions and leaving behind your menstrual cycle, but also the health of your hair, skin and nails. The building blocks of a hair are made from keratin, a type of protein so if you don't have enough protein in your diet, the body cannot keep up with the hair growth. Fats are important as well to absorb the fat soluble vitamins, but also for the essential omega-3 fatty acids that have many benefits, among which healthy skin and shiny and luscious hair. Take supplements. The top three supplements to make your hair grow faster are biotin. 1000 to 10,000 milligrams biotin daily can significantly increase the speed of your hair growth. The best form for great absorption is liquid. I will leave a link below to the biotin supplements I use. A disclaimer is that large doses of biotin might cause breakouts in some people and in that case you should lower the dose. Please also know that when taking supplements to grow your hair, the supplement does not discriminate between the places that will help you and it will work. This means that you might need to shave or epilate more often. Collagen peptides. With the ears, collagen production slows down and brings with itself signs of aging. Wrinkles, sagging skin, thinning hair. You can add bone broth to your diet, great source of nutrients and collagen, or you can take collagen peptides, that is hydrolyzed collagen, to make it more easy to absorb. You will see the first results after about three weeks of daily use. A bonus is that your nails and joints will become stronger as well and you will have great radiant and plump skin. 
vitamin D3. If you are deficient in vitamin D3, as are two-thirds of the people worldwide, you can have hair shedding and hair loss, but also sparse and falling out eyelashes and eyebrows. The best way to determine is always a blood test and upon correcting the deficiency, the hair will become thicker and denser and the eyelashes will grow longer and fuller. Hydrate. Again, beauty starts from within. And if you are constantly dehydrated, it will show up in your skin and hair. Have a look at a grape and at a raisin. The raisin is a dehydrated grape and the same could be applied to the appearance of skin and hair. Wrinkly and shriveled. Drink at least 30 milliliters of water for each kilogram of your weight and replenish the electrolytes, sodium, potassium and magnesium. Trim the split ends. If you don't cut off a split end, it can move upwards and then break higher and the hair will either become shorter or thinner. The fact is that if you have a split end, the bonds in the hair are already broken and there is nothing you can do to stick them back together. The advertisements promise to recover your split end, but it is only a temporary fix based on silicone and it lasts only until washed away. But the core that silicone creates prevents moisture from entering the hair shaft and this worsens the condition of hair in the long run. Avoid sulfates. To prevent dry, brittle hair and splitting ends, you can borrow some parts of the curly girl method and apply it to your routine with straight, wavy or curly hair. And that is to replace the harsh detergents in your hair products, the sodium lauryl lauret sulfates with gentle cleansers like this. And then avoid silicones and waxes. Silicones form a thin waterproof coating around your hair and although they also protect your hair from damage caused by heat styling tools such as blow dryers and hot irons, this coating keeps your hair from getting properly hydrated and also prevents moisture from penetrating the hair shaft and thus causing frizz. What to use instead? Try water-soluble silicones or even better a few drops of your favorite oil. When your hair is properly hydrated with a good protein balance, it will have its shine without the need of silicones. I hope you found this video helpful and if so, please give me a thumbs up and if you have tips, tricks or treatments for faster hair growth, you can share them in the comments below. Follow the channel for more practical and useful videos and I will see you in my next one. Till then, stay happy and healthy. Bye.